always believe and and to watch this show on Saturday night. And I know the two of you had many battles with with Muggsy. Um, you know, it was interesting because Grant, you know, you think about back in the 90s, Muggsy's a really you know, relatively speaking, short point guard. And at times, you're a short person. <laughs> okay, you're I mean, okay. Just, he's five three. I mean, okay. come on now. We, you know, he's a bad boy, but he he's is. five three. But you were at times a taller point guard in the league. So that dynamic must have been pretty wild out there. It, it was wild. I mean, I was more of a point forward, right? And, and you know, I didn't match up, thankfully, uh, against Muggsy. But uh, there were times as a as a primary ball handler initiating the offense. Uh, during my Detroit years, when we would play Charlotte, you always wanted to know where Muggsy was uh, because I didn't want to have to put the ball on the floor at all with him uh, on the court. So a lot of times we put Lindsey Hunter in the opposite corner, and that was our <laughs> offense, and just to keep Muggsy away from all the action. But, you know, just it's incredible, I mean, to think that size and to have that kind of impact on the game. And, um, you know, there's an old adage in the NBA, you can't teach height, you know, but you also can't teach heart. And, um, you know, he, he played at that size and made a difference, you know, caused havoc defensively, offensively, pushed tempo, made great decisions, uh, knocked down. He wasn't really a three-point shooter, but more of a mid-range, you know, uh, catch-and-shoot kind of guy. But, you know, played in this NBA and played for a while. I mean, I think he, he had, multi, I think, more than 10 years in this and league. And played on good teams. And played on good teams. So, um, one of a kind, and uh, I think it's great that we're honoring and celebrating him and, and telling his story so today's generation can understand who Muggsy Bogues was all of, what he was and what he was all about. Yeah, I, I tell you, I used to have nightmares <laughs> Muggsy. I literally, to your point, I would never want to bring the ball up. I literally would just throw it up to John Starks and then let him go back, and then I get it to initiate the offense. And he was so strong. And I remember talking with my, my college teammates, Larry Johnson, who was their first pick, and Zoe was there. And I was like, LJ, I was like, man, that dude is strong. He's like, gee, do you know he bench presses 400 pounds? And I thought he was Joe. He's like, no, man, he bench, pre he bench presses more than I do, because L was probably bench pressing 360, 360 something crazy. And I'm telling you, man, that dude was freakishly strong, such a great mindset uh, and approach. And, and he had this personality that everybody just loved to be mm. around the guy, man. And he's even today, he's like the mayor of Charlotte. He just has that personality and, and really happy. I'm excited to watch this because I just haven't played in that era. I, I can appreciate his true, true greatness as a player. I can't wait to watch. It'll be really cool to see stories of of inspiration, I think, for, for a lot of people watching to say, you know, anybody could be an NBA player. You don't have to be 6'5", you don't have to be 6'8", you don't have to be as good looking as you two guys are. <laughs> you could just be an NBA player no matter what.